Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Thanks for stopping by. I, I did want to uh, remind everybody the Matrix Gold Stellar Gym Vision uh, Virtual Summit will be coming up in uh, from May 15th to the 19th. It's free for everyone. All you have to do is register, and register will be opening up uh, April 3rd. Uh, and there will be five days, so you can uh, sign up for which day you want, I guess, or all of them, I guess. Uh, day three will be the Matrix to Matrix Gold transition for all you people that are transitioning. Uh, they are going to be talking about the printers, the B9 printers, industry trends, and jewelry trades in the Middle East, Western Asia, and uh, the USA, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm probably going to be at that one. Uh, and also Stoller B and uh, B D business B and B maybe uh, laser business. Uh, there's also going to be special offers. So if you're interested, please uh, make sure you uh, uh, register. Uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be a cutoff or uh, how many people will be able to register, but they will also be uh, uh, opening it up. I think for uh, questions from uh, you, you whoever's viewing, so you'll be able to ask questions and stuff like that. Uh, during the the summit itself so maybe it's something you want to attend if it is please stop by and check it out uh again i don't have any affiliation with the uh, gym vision matrix gold or stellar uh just promoting uh the virtual summit I think that's something that maybe some of you want, might want to check it out so let's move on to the project for the day all right this part uh we're going to check the uh, uh, curvature continuity uh, of these curves. So we have a G0 positional, uh, G1 tangency, and G2 curvature. All right. Uh, curvature continuity. So it has tangency and it has curvature or radius, rather. Uh, so what we're going to do here, uh, there's two ways you can really check real quick uh first let me get rid of these points here we don't need those out there right now uh so let's get rid of those all right so if i type in curvature graph these are multiple curves uh before i do this let's just yes, point that out that we do have uh, three curves out here so we want to tell the continuity between all the curves so what we can do is go to a uh, curvature graph of course and then hit enter and then i'm going to hit uh let's see uh, control a select all my curves and uh hit enter and it'll pull up my curvature graph with all my uh feathers or on their hairs on there right and the g0 you can see there is a break so we know as in the last video uh that it's a, a g0 it's a positional curve uh and then a positional continuity uh and then here we have a g1 right uh this is zero right and it jumps up and then comes around back to zero but it's maintaining a, a nice uh curve right there so it has a radius uh, and then this one it it jumps up there's a big break here it's not a break but it's a big jump right uh, but not so much here so but this one is a uh uh, it's tangency, but it's not, it doesn't have the radius on bo between both ends, right? Uh, and then our last one here, uh, you can see on this one here, it comes from zero, right? Which is the line curve. It jumps up, comes around, and goes back to zero to the one here. So that's uh, a G2 uh, tangency. Uh, or curvature tangency. It has radius and it has uh curvature tangency and cur uh, radius all right and then this one here uh, you can see it's not a big jump there's not a big break or uh, not break really uh where they're apart but it starts out right here and then it jumps up because this is a very sharp curve right and then it kind of thins back down to a longer curve and then it goes into this one and there's no big jump like this one up here right uh, where there's a huge jump. So that's how you can tell if it's a, a, a G2, all right? Uh, so that's using the curvature graph, right? Now there's another way, if you type in just curvature, you can use the curvature uh, to check, uh, curvature command to check a tangency or, or curvature continuity. So what you have to do when you do this is, uh, 
first click on one of the curves uh, and then uh, hit enter. Oh, that's graph. Wait a minute. Let me get out of that. Let's type in curvature. Just curvature for this one. And then I'll select on the first point and it'll give me a little line out there. Right. I want to go to the end where that other curve connects and then I'll click on it and then I'll just hit enter or uh, click off of it. And then I'll click my other curve and then right click to bring back that command and then put it right back in that line there right and you can see that the 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 circles do not meet up at all right uh so that's kind of where it means that it's a g0 uh g1 now if it's not going to really show on this because this is a zero so it'll just show this curve so let's go over here to this one here it'll be a better example if i click on this curve here and then right click to bring back the command go to the end there and then click and then hit enter and then go to my other curve here right click bring it back and go in and then hit enter you can see that the curves do not line up at all right but we have tangency okay so this is the same thing this will be zero so there's no sense in using it here but over here we have uh, the lines coming around right so if i click here and then click on there and then hit enter and then I click on my other line here and then hit enter and bring it back to that line and hit enter. Now I have two, two at the same going around, right? So that's showing me that I have a G2 continuity, right? And if I do the same thing right here and then uh, click on this one, bring it back right here, you can see I have g2 curvature continuity on this one tell because they're both on the same curve right so that's kind of how you can uh use the the curvature uh command to find out the tan uh, continuity of your curves so hopefully that helps uh, that's just another way this, those two ways the curvature graph and then curvature command itself all right, uh, so let's move on to the next one. The next one, we're going to try and show how to get tangency between uh, two different lines when they're not tangent to begin with. Uh, so that'll be the next one. Uh, so thanks for watching.